Morning everyone, Joanne here on this Fast Friday to tell you another fantastic fact about a fabulous Young Living product. I'm going to be flipping my camera back and forth today because I've got to show you how to use it. Today we're going to be talking about wolfberries. Oh no, it's backwards. Oh well. Trust me, it says wolfberries. This awesome Young Living product is sweet and it's organic and it comes from nature and it's easy to use it in a part of your normal diet. Some of the ways that you can use it is you can top yogurt or smoothies with it. You can throw it in um, with your trail mix, make your homemade trail mix or homemade granola and you can toss it in that way. You can also add it to a salad, like if you wanna instead of using the craisins and the dried cranberries sorry if i'm making you sick here going back and forth if you want to instead of using the craisins you can use these wolfberries and they're pretty awesome they are um, have been in use since back to the ming dynasty i've got some little information here that's why i keep looking down so i want to make sure i don't forget to tell you anything about it oh you can also use them in muffins and let's see, they're certified organic because they are a Young Living product and they have the seed to seal guarantee because once again, it's a Young Living product. And what's awesome about these is that it is a super clean label. There is exactly one ingredient listed in these and that's the wolfberries. Now I'm gonna put my phone down and hopefully I don't make a mess with them and try and prop it up against something. And I'm gonna show you how I use these wolfberries and it's a way I haven't told you yet, but it's my favorite way to use them. Ooh, got kind of close there. Hold on, here we go. Here's the wolfberries and here's my cup. Because what I do is I make wolfberry tea. And first you gotta open them, which of course is always challenging with my hands. Ziploc bags, got them. And it says you're supposed to use a tablespoon, half an ounce, you can measure out a tablespoon, but I usually just take a small handful. Toss them in the bottom of my cup, and according to the directions on the wolfberry package, you're supposed to boil water and then let it cool a little bit, but I don't do that. What I do is I come over here to my Keurig, and I go ahead and just make myself a cup. Of hot tea. So while that's brewing and filling itself up with water, what I do then is I let it steep for a little bit because I don't like to drink it so hot that it burns my throat. I let it cool off a little bit and, um, and then I enjoy it. And when I'm done drinking all the tea, I usually get a spoon or I just use my fingers if I'm by myself. And I dig those wolfberries out of the <laughs> the cup because they're rehydrated at that point and they're pretty yummy. And they taste I don't even know how to tell you what they taste like. If you like berries, you're going to like wolfberries because they are tasty. So that's my fun fact today on this fantastic Friday, and I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye now.